movie discussions, perennial movie arguments, true or false, Floyd from True Romance, the greatest stoner character of all time. Oh. Absolutely true. Really? Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely Thank you. true. That's 1,000 crazy. percent. Get cleaning products. Because there's been some good ones. Condescend me, motherfucker. Condescend me. Condescend me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Godfather 1. Written by Quentin Tarantino. Of course. Mm -hmm. My favorite movie of all time. True Romance? Mm -hmm. The great Tony Scott. Really? I walked down the aisle right? to the True Romance music. Come on. Oh, that's a good guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Comic book movies. I was saying to Margot earlier, there is a connection uh, in that Margot's next film, or a couple upcoming film, was Birds of Prey, which was shot under the title, correct me if I'm wrong, Fox Force 5. Correct. Do you guys know what Fox Force 5 is? Do you remember? No. Fox Force 5, you tell Margot. Nice. In Pulp Fiction, uh -huh. when Uma and John Travolta are having their $5 milkshake, she's explaining the pilot, that she, which I think in real life, Uma had done, I think that dialogue was based off the fact that, that she had done, a pilot, she had like done that. a pilot like that and then he turned it into dialogue and then she talks about Fox Force 5 and it's like <laughs> a whole scene. But in our movie yeah. there's five prominent yeah. women and like everything we always throw reference to like oh Tarantino moments that we pray to like inject into the film. So it felt fitting. And Does then also I asked Quentin, I was like, would you mind if we use the working title Fox Wars 5? And he was like, he thought it was really funny. Does it have a little bit of that anarchic, uh, subversive Tarantino spirit? I mean, part? yes, the spirit's definitely there, yeah. Leo on, on this group is the only one that's eluded comic book movies. You've done your time as Vanisher. Congratulations. Thank your role you. was amazing at Deadpool 2. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, I was like, what are you talking you. about? That's right. That was really funny, actually. Is that is that it for you? Have you capped out, is that you topped out? I think I've taken as far as I can take it. <laughs> It's kind of mic drop. That was that was a good scene. Ryan Reynolds came up with a, a part that I could fill. It's very funny. I'm completely it. lost in everything that's <laughs> being talked about. You're so Rick Dalton right now. Um, <laughs> Oblivious Rick Dalton, huh? <laughs> oh my God, Leo's still in character. <laughs> By the way, yeah, what, dude. What, what, what I carry my characters a year after. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing for you, there's an epic kind of a brain freeze moment for your character in this film, where he just like melts down and you mm. can't get through it. Did that remind you of any particular moments in your careers where like you just could not get through? a scene for whatever reason. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. A few of them come to mind. Definitely. So many come to mind. I think we've all had those experiences. And they're the worst. They're, the, they're the, the nightmare of going to school in your underwear, yeah. but yeah. the real live yeah. version of it. And you just can't get out of your own you head. You've got a hundred people yeah. on set. Yes. And you're, everyone wants to move on to the next or go home. You have a co-star who's already done theirs mm -hmm. and done it well. Yeah. And they're waiting on you. I once had to do a scene where I had to be speaking Lingala, and there was also like stunt stuff happening at the same time, so it was really crucial, and I just couldn't speak. I couldn't like, I was yeah. like, and I, I practiced this yeah. for so many months, and I cannot get my mouth around this language right now, and I kept messing it it's, up. And it was really has to do mortifying. with being incredibly exhausted. I remember yeah. doing, uh, on The Aviator, I had a massive dialogue sequence, and then I just had two lines the next day. That was my whole day, and I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Literally yeah. couldn't say those words, yeah. and poor Scorsese, yeah. Scorsese was just sitting there waiting like 40 takes later like, oh my God, how, <laughs> I could not say these two lines. Did it make the movie? It did.